We start this afternoon with questions about another wave of COVID hitting our state. We are seeing some cases go up a little bit while we wait for today's numbers to update for you. Yesterday had just less than 1500 positive cases reported. Now our testing positivity rate is still very low, just over 2.5%. But today, the city of Denver says the stealth Omicron variant is now here. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us live tonight from Larimer County. And Dylan, seems like we've had a few quiet weeks of COVID coverage, but the cases we know are starting to pop, a, pop up a little bit. Karen, especially in other countries like China and the United Kingdom. But meanwhile, health experts here in Colorado tell us they aren't overly concerned about the possibility of the surge happening here in Colorado. Colorado has a significant immunity rate between vaccinations and natural disease infection. And thus far, the new variant is causing commotion that really shouldn't be too much to worry about because it's always mild symptoms. We're obviously keeping an eye on this because the situation continues to be dynamic. It's been weeks since we've heard from experts like UC Health's Dr. Michelle Barron, which is a good thing. That's because when it comes to COVID cases here in Colorado, we've been decreasing pretty dramatically for a while there. But now cases in Colorado, the United States, and even major countries around the world are trending upward, right as many head out for spring break. With travel, we could certainly see people bringing things in. Both Dr. Barron and the health department in Larimer County tell CBS as for they aren't overly concerned by the upcoming surge. So far, BA2 seems to be he behaving just like Omicron. Meaning it tends to come with mild symptoms and lower hospitalization rates. I feel okay, but it's with cautious optimism. 90% of people in Colorado are currently immune either through vaccination or through natural disease. And so that's a pretty high level of protection in our community, even with the BA2 variant potentially surging in other parts of the country or or in the world. And I think, you know, we've all been very reassured by our high rates of immunity and the low rates of transmission, but we're not at zero. So if you're just now heading out for spring break or plan to socialize over the weekend, it is safe if uh, you've got all your vaccines, you've got your booster, um, and you're being smart. There's a lot of talk right now about a fourth booster shot. Those here with UC Health say it's important if you're over the age of 65 to reach out to your doctor and talk to them about the possibility of getting that in the coming weeks and months. Here in Larimer County, the health department says they are happy to have that 90% immune rate and they don't expect that to drop until roughly June or July. And when it does drop, they expect it to drop to around 80%, which is still pretty good. Reporting live in Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. All right, Dylan, thank you for that.